Hi, this is Rob, and this is for my digital fabrication students. I have one more thing to show you but before I show you how to make a uh, two-part mold, and that's basically how you can use Fusion 360 to simulate uh, pouring into this mold that we're talking about. So this is supposed to be wax, right? And uh, maybe to make it clearer, I'll add color to these. And so this is all blue because it's all our uh, blue machinable wax. Um, I'm going to then um, try and pour silicone into this or simulate that. So what I can do is um, do a boundary fill. So it's right here, create boundary fill. But to do that, I have to have a completely enclosed space. So I need a cap for this mold. I can use a construction plane to do that. So this offset plane will do. I basically just click on that face, the top of my wall, and hit OK. And it's made a cap for my mold. And now I just go to create boundary fill and uh, the tools are the things that enclose that negative space. So that's the uh, construction plane and the body, the mold body. And then you go to select cells and just tell it what part you want to, um, oh, uh, you know, actually I need one more thing, which is um, my uh, object. Otherwise I'm just going to end up with a block of silicone. So there are three things here. There's the, uh, the tools are the construction plane, the mold, and the uh, object itself inside. And then I'll cl click uh, select cells and I should be able to just check these boxes until I see something that looks like the object. Right there it is. Um, but uh, that's not what I'm trying to cast actually. So I'm trying to cast the interior negative space. So this is you kind of just click around until you find something that looks like it's the silicone uh, that would get poured in. So that's the negative space that we're looking for. It says it's going to make a new body. I'll hit OK. Called it body 8, but I'll rename this uh, silicone. Now if I hide the other ones, I can see there's my chunk of silicone that I would pull out of my wax mold. And if I flip it over, there's the recess. So now I could actually, working from this silicone chunk, Let's make this a different color so it'll uh, make sense that we've moved on to another material. So let's say the silicone is white and um, now we've got our silicone separate from our wax. And we can do the same thing here. Do a boundary fill and then see the form that would come out of this mold, which would be you know whatever materials you're casting, chocolate or uh, hard candy or crayon wax or whatever. So uh, I'll do the same thing here. I'll make an offset plane that is on top of my uh, mold. Turn construction planes back on. And I'll say OK. Hide the old one. And, uh, and then I'll just do Create Boundary Fill and choose for my tools of the uh, construction plane I've just made and this mold body, the silicone body. Now for cells, I just click on the thing that looks like there it is, I've checked it. It's, that's the thing that looks like the negative space in the mold. Hit OK, and now it made something called Body 9, which is, I'll just say it's chocolate. Uh, that's what I'm casting in here. So if I hide the silicone, hide the construction planes, flip this over, there it is, there's my original object. So this is what it would look like after I've gone through the process of uh, taking it out of the silicone mold, which I took out of the, um, out of the wax mold. I can kind of see all of these separated if I move this silicone mold. I'll flip it over and move it over and say OK. And then uh, the chocolate one, I'll do the same. So I'll move it uh, over here. And you can see the path. There's the wax one. There's the silicone we got out of the wax mold. And there's the chocolate we got out of the silicone mold. Hope that makes sense.